Welcome back everybody. We are here with the fabulous Faye. I've done an infill on it and we're going to do some Coachella inspired cowboy boot nails because I'm wishing I'd gone to Coachella. If only just for the pictures, really. Are we going like Bohemian festival -y? It's a bit festival -y because cowboy boots are really popular at the minute. Or, or like cowgirl boots. They are so popular at the minute. I absolutely love them. I've got like a really long pair that go over my knee. Oh, I just love them. Did and Jessie wear them in... Well, mate. There was one too. Possibly. Did she wear the same outfit? I feel like she wore the same outfit. She definitely got the info. She got the info yeah. off me. I'm sorry, Joey. <laughs> Possibly not. Um, so we're going to do Cowboy Boot Inspired Nails, Coachella style. I am the canvas. The, the canvas that we have is just. I'm happy with the film. You've paid lots of paid lots of attention, and there's lots of. Beautifulness TLC. In there. Yeah, I've had lots of TLC, especially around like those uh, grotty, grotty cuticles. cuticles yeah. yeah, they might have obliterated a little bit, but it's fine. Not on purpose, obviously. Whatever. So we're going to base coat first. We're going to use the um, Kirsty Meekin range for the colours. Um, we're going to base coat. I love this base coat so much because it creates the most ame amazing, amazing. I can't Adhesion. even talk. You may as well just let me tell them, aren't you? Go on, you tell them. Creates the most amazing adhesion. Yeah. I felt like that was me. Was that your Bake voice. I felt like that was me, MasterChef voice. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> Festival producer Hannah has made plant-based fish and chips. Deep fried tofu wrapped in nori seaweed with triple cooked chips, mushy peas, pickled onions, curry sauce and tartar sauce from Aquafaba an egg white substitute made from chickpeas. You wouldn't have this common voice on any channel. And we want a nice thin application. So I'm doing, because the, the canvas is so large, I am doing the lateral length first of all. But those aren't long, are they? Because the canvas I is mean, so large. I mean, thank goodness that they <laughs> are. Because I have missed having such a beautiful canvas to work on. That made me really big grin then. Did it? Yeah, I did like a big grin. Big cheesy Cheshire cat grin. Yeah, I did. And I start at the bottom, like I was saying, until they interrupt me. Yeah, um, because they're so long and then I can come to the top. Don't need to get any more product on the brush. Don't need to re-dip it in the bottom. It's a one dipper. I can do the cuticle, then I can slide through the entire length. And it's not like I'm going to run out of product because I've already applied onto the tip. Did you only have to do one dip? Even for that long ass nail? Even for that long ass nail. And you'll notice that I'm splaying the bristles of the brush to make sure I'm dragging it super thin. Now, if you're doing this on a natural nail, Oh, it's not even me. I'm me. taking no accountability responsibility for this behaviour. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. So unprofessional. As I was saying, if you're doing this on a natural nail, um, splay the brush, and it doesn't matter if you can kind of see the texture of the nail through the base coat, that's absolutely fine. Is this a new word? Splaying? Splaying, fan. Fan no splaying. Way. You have taught me something brand spanking new today. I say splaying quite a lot. You just don't listen Never to on my me. videos. Mm. Do you use naughty words, like for me. Naughty words. Like simple words. Simple words for you. Maybe I do. There's a floof there. Let's get rid. Floofy. Because I tell you what, if there is one little bit of fluff... Oh, I'd let you know about it. The, just, the gel polish just magnifies everything, doesn't it? And it just encases it inside and just, yeah. Yeah, we have to get rid of that. So I'm going to come back to these and just double check that there's been no fluff in the air. You can't say I've done it because... No, no, you've been I a good girl. Move my hand. You told me not move it. I'm dreading having getting you back in position, to be honest with you, because I'm going to have to move in a minute, aren't I? Yeah. Go in the old lamp. 
Just make sure they are. Oh, there's one there as well. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, what the hell? So, my job it doesn't pick up fingerprints and you rub, you go back over it with you. I know, but Splay. then I just slide it off and then get rid of that. Right, okay, into the lamp. Thank you very much. I'm going to use 16. Is it Hayley? Yeah. Ah, I love Hayley. She was 16 when I met her. Oh. No regrets. Just legal. Just legal. How old are you, Adam? Oh I was 19. <gasps> Adam! Adam! What? She was literally turning 17 about three weeks later. Oh, okay, we'll oh. let you off then. From when we met. We'll let, we'll let you off. Where did you meet? Why was she hanging around with older we boys? Worked, we worked together at McDonald's. Oh my god! Oh, oh you stay still! Sorry, sorry. Right, so at the top of a cowboy boot, you've got this like scalloped edge, and I'm just so I'm just going to paint this new down. We'll do two coats, but we don't need to cover the entire. I mean, we can cover the entire nail, shall we? Question: Are you going to see the colour behind it? Because I don't want none of that. I know you don't. That's why I'm thinking. I want blank canvas. You won't see it. Right, so this is what I'm going to do: paint it down. And then, oh, catch the edges, Kate. Nice and thin. So I'm gonna use the um, Cassidy One Stroke Brush. And I've just dampened it with a little bit of cleanup solution just so it's nice and clean. And it's got a tiny bit of cleanup solution in. And we're gonna create this shape with the brush. Take off that excess. Oh my God, you've got a stick. Haven't you? This is new. It's called a monopod. Right, well, that's what we've got. We've got a monopod, everyone. AKA stick. <laughs> Second coat of colour. Oh, so you can just follow that line now, can't you? Yeah, so we've got this as a guide, haven't we, now? So we can just follow the line. It's very clever. I've got a little bit on my brush. You're not supposed to be using your sword. I always use my nail. It's a bit of a palette. It's, a good, it's in a good place, isn't it? Yeah. Second coat, of course, so we can, we can cure that now. Or you can do this. There's a different way you can do it, and it's entirely up to you. I don't know what you'll find easier. Some people find kind of doing it that way, reversing and scooping away. Or you can use the um, Cassidy detailer to sort of mark out your shape, your scallop shape. And you can cure that. And then you've got a guide as well. So it's up to you. Have a go at it both ways. See what's best for you. So with this one, we can apply and then we use our brush rather than, you know, sort of scooping away excess. We've got this guide. And I can tease that down, but we can use that same brush. So we're going to use these gorgeous colours. They are, all of them bar, bar one is from the um, spring collection. So we've got Charlotte, named after my cousin. Then we've got Dan, the web man. Then we've got, why well, is there no name on that one? Lily or. Oh, that one's not in the autumn, not in the, the spring collection as well. So. I didn't see what number it was, but I think it's Lily. 39, I think it is Lily. Um, and then we've got Alex, and we've got Paddy. So, I'm going to start with the thumb first. Let's get that out of the way. Come here, darling. So now we've got a guide. 
we can paint this on a lot easier. So that first, that first, that first coat needs to be nice and thin. Pop me that in the lamp. Second coat of colour. So even though we've got this guide here, don't worry about getting it too perfect because we will be using something else in that area. Pop me that in. So we're gonna use white out now and I'm gonna use the Cassidy Detailer brush and we're gonna create, if you see, well, if you look at um, cowboy boots, western boots, whatever you wanna call them, you'll see that they all have this kind of pattern. We have Googled it. We still don't know what it's called. If your hand isn't as steady, you could use the Lily Liner brush. So that's your starting point. So let's have a little look and I'll show you what I mean. This kind of like scalloped um, pattern. Pattern, yeah. I don't. In this, it's like heavily featured in lots of different boots. We don't know the name. <laughs> but we're just going to go with it. We're going to do that now. I like these ones as well. Look at them. So you can see I've marked out where we're going to go. And I can fill that in with the white. So if I turn the thumb round, because I find it easier because I'm right handed to draw on my right side. I can, or paint rather, I can kind of copy and get it symmetrical, turn it back round and then mm. I can make any adjustments. I like it so much! Now it looks like a Christmas tree. God, why is she bringing what? all the negative vibes today? It is, it looks like a Christmas tree! It does, it look like a Christmas tree! It looks like tree. a flame, it looks like a flame my direction, it looks like a Christmas tree now. You can't help what you see. It's like an optical illusion. Uh, do you know what, right? What? So many people say you what? should do a set of face nails while she's blindfolded. Yeah, and I, I totally agree. I oh, agree. That would be a long day. In the dark, poor thing. If you gag her, it'll be an even shorter day. <laughs> gag her, blindfold her, tie her to the chair. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get through. We'll be done in an hour. In an hour. <laughs> Really? <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, it could also be Harley Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> so now we want to do some stitch details. And I'm going to use a new product of ours, which is the Crushed Diamond Floss Gels. Oh my God, I absolutely love them. So they are gorgeously glittery. You know, we need to add a bit of glitter, don't we? It's a bit glittery, is it? Yeah. I've not seen this! I know. Am I going to love it? I hope so. Stop when you do. I'm going to use this with a Lily Liner brush to edge our little scallop boot. Did you actually show us the colour or not? I didn't yeah, see it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, right. I can't remember. <laughs> so it's like a go this one is um name Yasmin. It's no, it's the silver one. There's lots of different colours, but this is the silver version. And I just want to add, and I'm gonna float the tip of the brush over so it leaves a substantial amount of glitter. If you wipe too hard, you'll lose the glitter. Guys, that pattern's amazing. It's so cool. But you're not going to do that colour of the stitch, presumably. I want to use this as the stitch. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so it's going to be really illusion. subtle. It'll be okay. subtle, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not going to be yeah. bold. It'll be subtle. Oh, it's pretty, that is cool. So that's really pretty. Right. And pop me that in the lamp. Okay. 
then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go right around the edge of the ear here. I'm going to follow the shape as if this is stitching. So we're using the same product. Makes me want to eat that collie, you know, on the end of a nail. I can't eat it. I feel like it's like sorbet. I feel like it should be sorbet. Mmm, yeah, like the colour, like, oh yeah, that colour sorbet. Mm. It looks edible. You know, when you look at some things and you just think, oh, that colour just looks delicious. Then we're going to add another section of this little curly pattern that we don't know the name of. <laughs> I just think it's really fitting to a nail, isn't it, as well? Like a nail art design, it's really... It makes it sleek. It's just, these kind of patterns are just, I just looked at them and thought, I can see them on a nail. So I'm going to top coat this one, and then we're going to use this as our little inspiration. We're going to do them slightly different on the other, like every one will be have a very slight difference to them. But we're going to use these kind of shapes as our inspo on the rest of the nails. I love that I've got Coachella inspired nails. I know. I feel like I'm there. You're there. Oh, it's beautiful, that is. Spit me, that is cursed. It's gorgeous, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. Right, pop me that in. So we're going to top coat these now. This one, we're going to do something a little bit different. So I'll save that till last because, you know, it's clearly going to have stones on. <laughs> we're going to get a little bit of each colour out. So this is Dan. We've already got some Lily out and then we've got Alex. And Charlotte. 30. Yep, and... Where's Paddy? Here he is. Where's a Paddy? With the brush for now. Then we're going to take the fade brush. Oh, we're using your brush stock. Woo! And I'm just going to tap and drag that colour down. Tap it, tap, tap. Tap it, tap, tap, tap. In the lamp you go. Then we're going to pick up some down. I'm just going to place that there loosely. Loosely. Meaning it does not need to be perfect. We just want product there. I'm going to ask you a question. It's a question. I'm sure lots of, um, of your fans and viewers will be asking the same thing. Okay. Why do you not do the process where you do like one coat, two coat, three coat, say for instance, first with the one colour. Does that make sense? Because I'm assuming you're going to have to go back and do another coat on the colour nearest to the cuticle. No? You're Don't, getting what? I have no idea what you mean. Right, so that colour you've just put on first and then cured slightly, yeah. flash cured, whatever you want to call it. Well, we cured it. Yeah. Yeah. Why have you not redone that colour again? Oh, because we need we need to the uh, 
the overlap needs to happen. Right. In section by section. Okay, that's what I yeah. can't get my head around. I'm like, why are you making this really difficult so for yourself? We've, why are you not? So we, we've blended that. Yeah, you've started the blend, but you've got to do another quarter of it to get the blend correct. Okay, yeah. okay. And then we've started this blend here. Because would that then make it very blocky if you did it the way that I was thinking? Yeah, it'd be a bit too blocky. We've started okay. this blend here, Luke. And I'm, it's better to dry to drag <coughs> onto dry cured product. Okay. In. Okay. I like that. Rather I than understand that now. <coughs> you can do wet on wet, but I prefer it like this. So product on. We've cleaned the brush, and we turn the brush around. We've yeah. made that very difficult for yourself putting the white in the mix. What? It's not white, it's blue. Oh, is it blue? Sorry, it looks white on cam. Sorry. I've so you're not using white. the white. No, we're using just using blue. Sorry. On cam it looks white. Sorry. That's because you're looking through that light. I look so white. God, that's gonna be very difficult to get that really well blended. Yeah, I can't see the blue. Don't look blue at all. Oh, it does look blue. From your angle. From my angle, it doesn't. In fact, the colours don't even look like what they look like on me alive from this angle. So we've got a gorgeous ombre. Ombre? No. Well, yeah. It's an ombre. It's, a, it's an it's ombre, ombre of multiple colours. Um, it's, it's like a, a, it's a rainbow. I love it. It's, it's a pastel rainbow. Beautiful. So you can see why we did the colours in this order. So they kind of melt into each other. I'm going to put now, I'm going to put crystals on top of that that are actually got a clear backing so they'll take on the colour that's behind, behind. them. Clever. How I amazing like that. is that? So the different sizes, we have a clear backing and the different sizes will be really helpful to lay everything out. So we're going to start down the middle first. So I'm just going to squeeze some of this down the middle first. So you're actually going to put them in in rows? So it's not where you just sort of dip the nail in them. You have to put... Oh, no, no, we have to. So they've got a clear backing. I am just going to use the Brendette brush to spread this out a little bit. It's not pixie stuff. So down the middle, you can see we've got that product. So we've got our adhesive, which is the um, Crystal Totalis. And we're going to use the larger stones first of all. We're going to use the Pammy Picker Upper. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And you'll see as I place them on that they'll take on the colours that are underneath. And they've also got an AB coating and that AB coating um, reflects all these kind of colours as well. Aurora Borealis. Did you see the Aurora Borealis when you went to Iceland, Adam? No, it was very cloudy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's not it's not the best time of year for it anyway. Mm -hmm. Wind is the best time. Ah. Uh, but yeah, it was just really cloudy, so. Cloudy with the summer and meatballs. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> And then what I want to do is leave a very slight edge. We can fill with the tiny, tiny ones, but we want to leave a slight edge. Luke, I'm sorry, Luke. Luke is that? Oh, Coachella. Coachella, here we come. Oh, uh, next year. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just, Just a bit of oil. Gorgeous oil though. Seen the one I want. Seen this one? No. Well, oh, this is dead nice. Who is it? Let me see. It's um from a um, it's a Polish company. Claire, Claire Shop, so. It's called Sassy Classy. Oh, well, it's can't be for fair. I'll put it on the She's not the sassy end. at all, is she? Smell. You can smell. Smell that. Nice, I like it. It smells, like, it, that on. it smells expensive. Oh, right. The company that this eclair, um, Cuticle oil. Cuticle oil from. 
Oh, damn. Um, it's cold. Uh. <laughs> they do fabulous stuff. Just like. So yeah, come on in. Have some oil. Oh, well, cow girl, cowboy, inspired nails, Coachella style. So there you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this Coachella slash um, cowboy inspired nail set on the Fabulous Bay. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok and all that shebang. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da, duck! Wet on wet wasn't the issue. My, my, I thought, would you do three colours of the same colour first no. and then go to the <laughs> next because you need that. Yeah, I understand. Hey, <coughs> I'm sorry. Phew, 23, is that okay? It's fine. <coughs> sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs>